Alright everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review of Ubuntu 14.04, the latest long-term support release operating system from Canonical. So it'll be supported for 5 years, so that'll take us up until 2019. So a brief rundown of the new features in Ubuntu 14.04. You've got the option to have local menus, so that's taken the application menu from the top of the screen, which was the global menu, and now putting it in the application window. You can now have a live resize, so it makes it a bit nicer when you're resizing an application. The click to minimize is an unofficial feature, which is included, <laughs> bizarrely, but yeah, an unofficial feature you can add to the Unity launcher. The behavior in Nautilus is almost back to how it was a couple of years ago, when we had Ubuntu 12.04, but we're still missing one of the nice features it had, which was the individual folder settings. Hmm. There's been some changes on the theming, so the one pixel black border has now been removed and the gradient effect on the corners is slightly better now. There's been some speed improvements on boot up and opening up applications, but it's almost back to how it was with Ubuntu 12.04, so re no, really not much of an improvement there. And there's a couple more which I'll go into later on in the video. But on the downside, one key disadvantage now is that you can no longer move the close, minimize, maximize buttons to the right hand side of the application. The theming is very much locked in place in some cases. Let's take more of a look at it. So starting with the appearance settings, you can see now that the launcher can be resized down to a much wider range of sizes. So we've got between 16 pixels and 64 pixels. So that makes it more suitable for a wider range of displays. We've got the option here of changing between local menus and global menu. So all you need to do is just change the setting there and when I open up an application, you can see I've got the menus now up back at the global menu position. Web searching can easily be switched on and off with the privacy tool. So you just need to go across to search and then click include online search results. Some of this is quite clever because you can see like whether in Cardiff to be honest, it's been so long since I've used the Smart Scopes feature here in Unity that uh, I've pretty much forgotten how to use it. Yeah, that's a nice feature, but you could do exactly the same thing through the web browser. There you are, I've got, I can scroll across, close that, and I'm typing in another word here, so keeping with Cardiff. You can view the Wikipedia entries, search for songs things about on reddit so it's only picked up a few of the smart scopes there can get more with the filtering jet scrolling down there you can see the wide range of smart scopes that are available but I always think that feature does slow the unity searching down so i always turn it off one thing we have lost now is the ubuntu one cloud storage service at the time, I believe Ubuntu were the first operating system to integrate the cloud storage service by default. Now it's no longer even an option. So let's take a look at what applications we do get pre-installed. So yes, it is a bit of a faff to try and filter for just browsing around applications, but when you know what specific applications you're after, I think Unity is quite quick and simple. Under accessories, the usual assortment of accessories you'd expect. And the games, we've just got a few lightweight games on there. Graphics, yeah, nothing much. Internet, so we've got Firefox for the web browser, Thunderbird for email, and transmission for a torrent client. That Ubuntu browser there always crashes on me, fails to work. Under media, we get Rhythmbox for the music player and Totem for the video player, but you don't get the codex pre-installed. If you want those, you have to install the Ubuntu Restricted Extras for the Software Center. Under Office, we have a partial suite of LibreOffice, that's version 4.3. And System, yeah, not much really. Memory usage seems to have bloated right up there after I've opened a few applications, but by default, it's about 470 meg with no applications open. There's a new version of the system settings that's been forked and it's now the Unity Control Center. It doesn't look any different though from previous versions of Ubuntu, but when it comes to having Ubuntu GNOME, then I'm sure that control center will look quite different and be what you expect for the GNOME-based distro. 
The keyboard shortcuts aren't exactly working properly for me. It's the sound and media volume controls. There is a workaround, but that's a bit annoying really. And finally, for the applications, well more like one application that's missing, is FFmpeg. It can't even have it anymore now. It's been replaced by libav, which is not exactly a decent replacement. And finally, an improvement from Ubuntu 12.04 is you've got a nice glossy shutdown menu there. Here's what I thought of Ubuntu 14.04. So we've got a couple of useful features added into Unity, which is the click to minimize and the locally integrated menus. Nautilus is nearly back to how it was a couple of years ago. <laughs> Maybe that's not a huge advantage, but it, yeah, it could be if you're using Ubuntu 13.04 and 13.10, which didn't often get a bit annoying back then. But there's not much actual progress from Ubuntu 12.04. We seem to have gone full circle with some features being added in and some features being removed. And one of the features that certainly has been removed in this version is the close, minimize, maximize buttons can no longer be removed to the right hand side. So you've now been dictated to use the buttons on the left hand side, or else don't use Unity. Use another desktop is pretty much what we've been told. So yeah, overall I'm giving Ubuntu 14.04 75%. Not brilliant for an LTS release, so uh, yes, it certainly was better a couple of years ago. We might see some improvements over the next month or so, but for now, that's what I think of it. Thanks for watching, see you all later.